Farkas coming to you from Denver, Colorado at the AOA's annual meeting. And with me is Gretchen Bailey, the Editor-in-Chief of Optometry Times. Hello, Gretchen. Hi, Adam. Gretchen, you may notice, and I have noticed, um, the demographics of eye care have changed, of eye care practitioners has changed. We're looking out now on the exhibit hall here at the AOA, and it's the difference between what this was 20 years ago and what it is now is stark. But increasingly, uh, the AOA conference and eye care in general doesn't look like that anymore. With the millennial wave coming through, eye care is becoming a younger profession and it's becoming much more female. When my dad graduated from optometry school, there were zero women in his graduating class. I'm not surprised. When I graduated from medical school, the split was about 50-50. Today, the profession is now majority female. Well, it's taken us a while from, we've had a lot of women coming into the profession, at least coming into optometry school. And so you can have a lot of women coming into optometry school, but on the other side, you don't have these old white guys moving on because as you know, optometrists can practice until they're dead. So right. they are not moving <laughs> out. So you have, need to have a lot of women coming through in order to dilute this big pool. Right. But we're hitting that tipping point. And in some states, I heard this just the other day, in a couple of states, there are now over 50% female practitioners. Wow. Yeah, so things definitely are changing. And one thing that I wanted to talk to you about, since you you know, you know publish a journal and you have a constant stream of writers, most of the writers still, for better or worse, look kind of like me. They're, you know, this is what the, the old clinician looks like. But if you're a young clinician and you're starting out and you want to be one of those people who writes and you want to be a thought leader, how do you get involved? Can you give someone a guide so they can sure. get started? Well. There are a couple of ways that you can do it. That if you like certain products, you can talk to the rep. Mm -hmm. If you are a high prescriber, if you have a big account, if you are passionate about a certain product, whether it's contact lenses or spectacle lenses or frames or a device or a pharmaceutical, then you can become a thought leader within that sphere. Right. You can work promotionally, you can uh, go do dinner meetings, you can get involved on the other side with research, you can join an advisory panel. So you just need to talk to representatives and, and express your interest. And you should know a little bit about what you're talking about. It isn't just that, gee, I want to do it, right. but I'm passionate about dry eye, I'm passionate about scleral lenses, I'm passionate about you know, in glaucoma, insert your topic there. The other thing you could do is go through the publishing route. And we have a lot of fine journals mm -hmm. within the eye care space. You should be reading all of them. Um, but I am partial to one, of course, and I know that me and a lot of my fellow editors are interested in talking with new people. Mm -hmm. And we're just people. Drop us a line. 